All right, hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. We are in between thunderstorms here and I need to get all the tomatoes that I can off of the two single seed challenge plants, Tiny Elvis and Priscilla, before the next round of storms come. So, let's go. Okay, so this is Tiny Elvis and this is Priscilla. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of tomatoes in here on both these plants, especially that one's ready to come out right there. But with tomato plants, one thing to remember is they will continue to drink water and drink water and drink water and drink water until your tomatoes start to split. And we have like five days of rain coming. Uh, today was already really, really bad. Earlier, thunderstorms were insane. So the ground is super saturated and we only have more rain coming. So. I'm gonna harvest every tomato that I can that's at at least a decent size, whether they're ripe or not, and get them in the windowsill because I don't wanna lose them to the rain. Now, I've already been losing tomatoes off these plants to army worms, which are little caterpillars. And once they start, they don't stop. They will decimate a tomato crop in a heartbeat. So I don't wanna lose any more tomatoes, especially if I can prevent them. So that's why we're gonna start harvesting. I'm excited for this though, and I hope the second grade class who's watching right now is excited also, because they're going to be able to see the tomatoes off of the plant that they picked, their single seed challenge, which they named Tiny Elvis. So uh, guys and gals, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with Tiny Elvis first. We're just gonna come in here and clip just like that. We're gonna take all these off that we can that are a good size. I'm not gonna take the little baby ones, but if they're decent size, they're coming off. And look at that crazy shape right there. <laughs> so cool. I love it. Love it, love it. Look at those right there. Those are good size. <laughs> Check those out. Now see, here's an example, doggone it. Here's an example of some damage from a caterpillar. Really see it right there. Look at that. That is what we don't want to happen. Oh man. But we'll just deal with it and let it be. See how it goes. I'm gone. Okay, so this one is probably the craziest shaped one on Tiny Elvis. Look at how crazy that is. Just <laughs> that is so cool. Unbelievable. Okay, and that's all we're doing there. We're going to leave the rest of the tomatoes that are on Tiny Elvis on here because they're all pretty small. But you can see the damage that the worms have caused. Look at that. Now, I went through these plants three days ago, I think, and I killed seven army worms and then lost probably five or six good-sized tomatoes combined off the two plants. So I'm not happy about that at all. But that's part of gardening. You're going to deal with pests. You're going to deal with setbacks. You're going to deal with rain and just everything under the sun. Too much sun, not enough sun. It's just part of garden. It's just part of gardening. So when you get these little drawbacks, just learn from them and roll on. Because those are all the tomatoes that we just got off of Tiny Elvis. And I'm quite, quite happy about that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get all the tomatoes we can off of Priscilla. You can see Priscilla has a lot of tomatoes. So this is going to be fun, but this one right here has to come off right now. This one is, for the most part, almost completely ripe. What a crazy shape that is. Now, each one of these are individual tomatoes. <laughs> That is something else, y'all. Okay, so see, this one has damage from the caterpillars also. Look at that right there. The, 
Doggone it. Such a unique shape. Look at that one. There's three in there. <laughs> As you can see, more damage right there from caterpillars. Okay, so here's an example. This one just kind of plopped right off of there. Each one of these are an individual tomato. They're all linked to this community stem right here. And some are more detached than others. But such a cool tomato. Okay, so I think we're done. I, look at all of these. I mean, holy mackerel. <laughs> now I did just see something and I gotta show y'all. Okay, so if you look in there, you can see the worm inside the tomato. All right, so you can see the caterpillar right there. That is what they do. They burrow into the tomato and destroy it. So whenever you find stuff like that, all I'm gonna do is pull that, to that part of the tomato off. He's about to die. Now, I do want to say something. Pests are pests. If the thought of you killing something that is attacking your plant bothers you, maybe gardening's not your thing. Because I kill mosquitoes when they bite me, and all they're doing is trying to survive. All this caterpillar's trying to do is survive. But it's killing your plant. It's killing your harvest. And I don't know any other nice way to say it. This caterpillar is about to die. I won't show it on the, on the channel, but it's not gonna live much longer because you can't allow them into your garden or you're not gonna have a garden. So I don't know what else to say there. All right, everybody, so that's the video. I'm really happy with this harvest. I wish I could have let them ripen on the vine more, but like I just showed, we've got a lot of rain and we've got insects out here that are destroying or trying to destroy this crop. So. I'm going to be proactive on this and get them inside on a windowsill to finish ripening. To the second grade class, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This was specifically for you guys. I really hope you all are learning, loving this journey that we are all on together. And I know I've heard from a lot of you that you've started your own gardens. That is awesome. Could not be more happy, could not be more proud of you guys for taking this experience home and doing your own thing. So cool. If y'all enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would absolutely appreciate it. And until next time, everyone, take care. God bless. Continue to shine bright and harvest hard. And I'll talk to y'all again real soon.